Hello. So, I was just about to go to bed where when And yes, it's almost three in the morning. I was, it's literally, it's literally 2.39 right now. I was just about to go to bed where all of a sudden I just decided to start thinking and I don't know if I mentioned this before but I am an op I am an overthinker and I analyze stuff and I'm just an overthink thinker in general I don't um But yeah, I was about to go to bed and take my makeup off and everything, and I just got to thinking, and it makes sense, and it doesn't make sense. Um, I wrote it all down, so I talked about how I write in a journal or I make songs uh, to keep myself sane and balanced and level which I think if you're not venting to somebody I think is a good thing to journal uh, what you're feeling what you're thinking and whatever else you want to I think it's just good to do that mentally and I think it probably serves anybody justice but if this is just nonsense to you or just blabber you don't have to listen to me I don't even know if I'm going to to post this anywhere I just got to thinking and I wrote I wrote it all down in the way I possibly could explain it so I'm just gonna read off that but yeah if I don't have my journal handy by me I write in my phone notes but for some reason I just thought about this and started thinking about this so I'm going to turn the low turn it dim a little bit so the, it's not flashing on my face so this is what's in my brain at 2.43 nearing 3 a.m. obviously I journal I put this in my journal later but if I'm not next to my journal like I said I put it in my notes of what I'm thinking or feeling or whatever what do you do when even you don't know what to do it feels like you have almost run out of things to tell yourself so that, like, I was just thinking, like, I don't know, because it's just like, we say self-love, um, 
encouraged and it's like I don't know it's like when do you say a word enough to unrecognize it or unrecognize the meaning of it or I don't know it's like does that word still mean to you personally of what it defined as? Uh, this next part is It's like the universe or something or whatever you may believe in is like almost almost gives you checkpoints like this is almost gives you like checkpoints. So with this theory, I don't even know if it's a theory. It's just a thought. But when I was saying this, I was saying like my experiences. So but yeah, it's like, what if you, it's like you're almost given checkpoints being like, okay, this is when, this is when so-and-so is going to learn that not all people, you can't trust everyone. Like people have, don't have the same mindset they don't have the same uh intentions as you do and stuff like that so I was like so I put one of my experiences and I was like like this is where you are going to learn that some people don't have the best intentions for you and then there is another yeah I guess I just went over that like there's going to be people in your, that you meet in life where you're going to think um, it's almost like like when people have like this I guess their first impression of you they're going to be like depending on if you click or not because some people click and they get along fabulously or they enjoy the same thing and you click that way and it's just like it's just like deep what you see is like this what you when you first meet someone or or just in general I guess it's like you you see the surface of their personality you Like when you meet someone for the first time, they see the surface of who you are, but as you get like more into being yourself around them, like, like I said, if you click in a way, you're, you see the different sides of them the different sides of them like like you see more than the surface level at that point so it's like um it just goes into deeper thinking like is this, per can I really trust this person if I say this thing or if I do this thing, will they react good or bad or it goes into that <laughs> and then I put here again another experience. in my timeline of life, I guess, if we can think of it that way, a timeline, like if we look at every, 
all our experiences. It's like this age I learned this and then this age I learned this and oh I've so this one I said And then there is another checkpoint where you are going to experience love is like how love is going to feel or can feel like, but depending on what your decision is or taking a risk or whatever, the universe is like Universe, again, a universe, whatever you believe in, is like, I'm going to let you feel this emotion, see what you're, what you think about it with this person or this person or this person, but I'm not going to give it to you yet until I see an answer almost like I wrote here but I am or the universe is like going to give is not gonna give it to you yet they're gonna let you feel feel that emotion and see what you're going to do with it but they're not gonna accept It until you yourself has taken that risk or taken that made like an official answer uh, and then I just wrote this like minutes ago before turning this camera on so every decision that you or me or anybody makes is a lesson to be learned from an experience or it it's something that you have to learn from someone else which makes sense it's oh i th i think i explain it here like the universe or whatever is just like i'm going to allow you to learn whatever amount you you like i was trying to put it into a number thing because that was easier so it's like the universe or whatever is or whatever is just like I'm going to allow you to learn whatever the amount you need to learn by yourself like a limit but once you get to that number or amount they like the universe or whatever stop you and say it's okay i hope you i hope you have learned what you need to what you need to so far because now i'm giving you some people or one person to teach you something that you haven't quite grasped yet and then I'm going to leave it up to you with everything that you know right now if you want them to stay or go. But I or them, meaning like the universe or whatever, also can keep them in your life or take them out of your life. If all of this if all of this doesn't make sense to you it's perfectly okay 
it's just my brain this what's this is what comes out of my brain now and again and I understand if it sounds like nonsense to someone and to somebody else like me or just someone it makes perfect sense it but it's like sometimes I feel like that you know like you get to a certain point where you're like okay I've learned I've learned this about myself from this experience which which was I was always the positive person in my group in my friend group back then and all I wanted to see was the good I didn't want to doubt anyone and now what I experienced with that friend group I understand that not everybody is or just people outside the friend group or whoever they're not gonna have the same genuine the same genuine feeling or intention that you do with whatever it may be to to hang out to make a decision on help them make a decision on something or or just anything like not everyone's gonna have a genuine good intention there's always gonna be that first impression when you when you only see the surface of them and or the version or the version that they want you to see them in and and that's all you get to see like also I guess you could put that in a um, you can also put that in a perspective of somebody who like a YouTube video like someone who vlogs every day they're only filming what they film is only what you see of their life you don't see everything but they they let you see what they allow you to see is what I'm getting at I'm just using that as an example you know and then because I learned I it was the universe was like or whatever was just like Hannah open your eyes open your eyes not everyone's gonna be nice to you not everyone's gonna have the same it's same intention as you what whether it's pure or vulnerable or whatever and of course you change you change you change as people as time goes on too so like even even more so when you change and grow that's why that's why some people stick around you and some people leave is because you've grown apart it doesn't necessarily mean like it was a horrible friendship or it was like you had a bad experience with that person but that could mean that yeah you just grown apart it doesn't always necessarily mean that you had a bad experience or or whatever with that person or whatever and in any case you learn something that you 
yourself can improve on as well. Does that make sense? To me, that makes sense. Okay, that makes more sense. And then this, and then go away. <laughs> it was a notification. Yeah, so like if you're interested with someone like I look scary, but I'm thinking. But like when you feel like the emotions of love or or a crush, or you think someone's hot or something, you're just like, the un- I can't mention it to the universe, but it's like, I don't know what else to call it. But the universe is just like, here. here's all these people, they're all different in many ways than you. Go and pick one. Go and pick one and and see what happens. And then you're just like, because they're, because this person, whatever, like, because they're different from you, like thought, like thought patterns skin tone, eye color, thoughts, like emotions, like you don't, like they're different from you and you're different from them and you don't know also like what they've experienced in their life before they met you. So it's like, So you're merging, you're merging together to see what fits, like, like a puzzle or trying to open a key, a key with the, a key and a lock, and you're trying all these different keys to unlock your specific door, and if and if it does, if it unlocks, but not all the way, then that door isn't for you. Like it's a door you can slightly open and give it a go, but it doesn't open wide all the way. <laughs> or it's that, um, puzzle piece that you try to fit in a spot that that looks the same but it doesn't quite fit correctly in that spot am I making any sense here Like you're, t like, but also the universe is like, here are all these people. If you click with them and you choose to keep them in joy, but guess what? I can also make the decision to take them away from you as well. So it's like,
you get basically in short i guess you get to make the you get to make the choices of your life cuz that's what makes up your life and makes you live the way you want to live and slowly it, you become the person you're meant to become through all the experiences and the struggles and everything comes together in the end of who you are and who you're supposed to be and live your life to to the fullest doing whatever you love doing or doing whatever you want to do it's it's yours it's just the uni the universe has also that choice as well so it's like there's really no rules but there's there's no rules to life but I don't know why I'm still like this but it's helping it's like it's like I'm preventing any more brain farts in my brain oh god I forgot where I was but like yeah so there's no rules or anything to life it's just the decisions that we make or the chances that we take there's no matter which way you go there's going to be a consequence of what you do whether not really a consequence really though not really a consequence but like not that far not that far to where it's like consequences and good things and bad things it's not that at all it's more of making a decision taking a chance and then there's a big then you're just in some big change that you haven't experienced yet that that person or people are gonna teach you teach you either something new to help you embrace that new change or they're going to help you get a better deeper understanding of of an emotion or or an experience or whatever that you have have experienced already but not fully like you have like you have experienced that emotion or that feeling but also that can lead to to the fact that if there's if anything if there's something that you want or there's something that you need to get over a fear of that that you've had whether it's a recent fear or a new fear you could also like embrace that new change to get over that old fear of what you've been fearing cuz hoping hope is like the opposite of fear uh, I, 
I don't know where to go from there. Oh, by the way, the rest of this, I'm just branching off to you guys right now. I don't have the rest of that monologue, I guess you can say, like, figured out. Welcome to my brain. I literally, I've heard this saying. I don't know where I heard it, whether it was on on TikTok or on YouTube or something, but somebody said it and that describes my thinking process so much. And it's basically, I'm a Rubik's cube with pants. Like, it's funny, but at the same time, it's like, oh my God, I think like that. Because like, I'm, I'm complex in here sometimes. And obviously with us being stuck inside so long, a lot of us are in here, like myself. But the goal, I think, Personally, the goal is to not, you can be in here, in your, in your head, in your mind, and think about stuff, but you can't let, you can't be in here for a long period of time, because then you think about other things, or even, even past things in here that will come come in your face and almost like a reunion you didn't want I get that now and then I think about stuff that I'm ready to get over with get over with my past and there's just one thing that I'm still healing from that I'm trying to get over because I'm sick of it I'm basically sick of it replaying in my head and I want change I want something to shock almost shock me out of my normal average routine and I there are days where I can feel it feel that it's coming like this change is gonna happen it's gonna come at some point but it's just slowly getting here I feel like I just gave all of you like a mind, not a mind fuck, but like I made you think about things in a good way. <sighs> because at the end of the day, there are things that we all want and things that we all want to achieve. And it's like, like I said, it feels like there's, there's like checkpoints being like, I'm only letting you go this far. And then someone needs to help you. And whether you like it or not, this person's going to teach you something and help you with something and understand something about yourself that you may have seen uh, like a, pre a preview of, but they're gonna help you understand it more. Oh my God. Oh. This one doesn't crack. This one does though. 
sometimes. Oh, there it goes. There. <laughs> Takes a minute now and again. I don't know. Welcome to my brain. Welcome to my complex brain that just gives me these random thoughts that just take me on a roller coaster ride. I don't know if that helped anybody or anything, but it it definitely puts some pieces together. Maybe I don't know. It's literally three fifteen. Yeah, yeah, that's three fifteen in the in the morn. Well, I think that's where I'm going to stop, I suppose, and go to bed, because it is 3 in the morning, 3.15. Well, 316 now. But welcome to my TED Talk. Uh, deep conversations. Welcome to my brain. Where it doesn't just say something. It says something and then it's like, well... Let's go down this road and see where it goes. But I think I think that's it from me. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Also, another random thought just popped. Oh, oh my gosh. I just, I'm just, I'm, I was going to go, but I'm just going to talk about this for a second. When I, when I was camping with my sister and her friends by Lake Superior. When was that? Last, last fall, last spring. Something. It's on my Instagram. Anywho. I, we were, ha it was the day where we were just having our beach day. And I was laying on the beach just doodling in the sand. Basically taking a stick and just drawing in the sand with it. And a random thought came in my head and basically I thought of, I never thought about this before and it's interesting that I haven't come across this, but obviously I was talking to my sister and her friends so about this. But I'm allergic to peanuts and tree nuts and all of that. I'm not deathly allergic, but still allergic nonetheless. And I thought of that. And basically, if I, you know, being in a relationship with someone, obviously I'm single right now. But 
I just thought of that fact like, what if I want to kiss them? You know, like a, like a couple should do, would do. Like it's a normal thought, it's a normal notion. Like, yo, I want to kiss your face right now. And just do it. And I thought about it and it's like, well, what if I want to, what if there's a moment in the day where I want to kiss their face, but I can't if they, if they ate peanut butter or any tree nut or whatever like that, would I... Could I still, or would I have allergic reaction? Cause like, I mean, I mean, obviously, my, what my sis, one of my sister's friends was like, well, hopefully they know that you're allergic to peanut butter and nuts and all that, and they know that about you already. And I said, that's true. Which it's, I mean, that is something that someone should know know about you know about your your allergies and stuff but it's just like it's it it just makes me think about like but would I would I be affected especially if it's like 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 um let's say they have like peanut butter and jelly like sandwich or something like for a snack or for for lunch or something and then hours hours go by and I want to kiss their face at that moment would would that still affect me You know, like, would I have a real allergic reaction to that still, even though they ate it hours before I wanted to kiss them, like, like hours in between at the time they ate it and t to the point where I wanted to kiss their face, like, during that whole hours in between, would I still have to be like, would I still be affected? Like if I kiss their face, and when I say that, I mean kiss them on the lips. Like would, would I be affected? Like, because when I was younger, to a dance actually, I was taking a shower and my sister, one of my sisters, we were sharing a bathroom at the time and her shampoo had a walnut in it and it spilled on the shower and I picked it back up and put it back on the shelf but I guess some of it touched my ankle and I got a rash. I got a rash from it. It was purple and green and it was gross. And I had to go to a school dance the next day. So I wore, I basically wore socks and like combat boots with a dress. But anyway, it like, would I get a rash on my lips from them? But it would be, it would be hours, hours later and then I would kiss their face. Would that still be an effect? And also, would I have to... Because obviously at restaurants, um, especially somewhere new, I would have to ask the waiter, you know... But a lot of restaurants, I think, nowadays put a lot of the ingredients of what's in in what you're ordering so you know like oh this can this contains nuts i can't eat that 
but it's like it it just gets me, it 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 just gets me thinking like do I have to ask him be like yo I want to make out with you today so don't eat any don't eat anything with nuts or peanut butter in it do I have to do that if I want to be someone's girlfriend or lover or or do couple stuff do I have to ask those questions because let's be honest, most of the population, or a good chunk, so there's people like there's people like me who are allergic but are not deathly unless they eat it. And then there's people who are deathly allergic, and then obviously a good chunk of the population who don't have food allergies. But it's like. Do I have to ask my person or whoever I date, boyfriend, do I have to ask them not to eat any peanuts or peanut butter? That day? Or like but or like when I was saying before, like, would it matter if they ate it, ate peanut butter at this time, and then hours later I kiss their, I make out with them later? Like hours later, would that affect anything? You know what I mean? Like, would, would, would the allergy thing still be a thing if, like, hours later I kissed their face after they eaten something like that? Because here's the... Because with me, like, I'm allergic to peanut butter and, like, tree nuts and that shit. And when someone eats... Because my family members, they, they eat stuff with peanut butter in it and my whole life and obviously to someone who loves peanut butter or whatever peanut butter smells good well speaking from someone who's allergic to peanut butter it stanks it don't smell good it stanks so it's like I, I would be able to smell that on their breath That's a hard one. Please, some someone see if that's a thing. Because I would like to know. Because there would be hours, hours later. So would that still affect, be an effect? I don't know. I don't have all the answers. <laughs> Maybe, can someone in the comments, like, or like a doctor or allergist or whatever, comment in below and see, and see what that, cause I'm actually curious. Cause like, what if, what if I can't kiss, you know, If they eat peanut butter, like, how can I? Things to think about. My brain. <laughs> how does it work? It's very com This is a very complex brain. <laughs> and I'm an overthinker, so. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe so me saying that about that may have come to light to other people who are allergic to something and then they kiss their lover later like i i need answers i want answers <laughs> um 
okay. I think it's it's going it's practically three thirty right now. So three three zero. So I'm gonna get to bed and sleep. Hopefully, sleep. Who knows? Who knows what sleep is at this point? <laughs> so I am gonna go to sleep. Hopefully you're asleep or awake, whatever time zone you're at. But yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got. Again, if you don't like talking videos. Sorry if if this was a waste of your time, but you also clicked on the video, so I don't know. I'm not going to speak any more nonsense. Good night. You're all beautiful, you're all gorgeous, and I will see you soon. Alright. See you soon. Give one shot to make it out alive, so